and welcome. Welcome to Living Supernaturally, our daily devotion where we look into the Word of God and study the Word of God and apply the Word of God in our daily life situations. Uh, we've been looking at walking as believers, how we are called to walk and what scripture exhorts us um, in this truth of how we need to walk. And today we are looking at Ephesians chapter 5 and verses 1 to 4 which exhorts us to walk in love. Let's look at Ephesians 5 verse 1 onwards. Therefore be imitators of God as dear children and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling aroma. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness let it not even be named among you as is fitting for saints. Neither filthiness nor foolish talking or coarse jesting, which are not fitting, but rather giving of thanks. So here we see this exhortation to be imitators of God as dear children. An imitator is a mimic, a very close follower. One who imitates has probably studied the one who, whom he wants to imitate, he or she wants to imitate. So studied them very carefully and uh, does exactly what the other person is doing or saying. Right? A very close follower. And so Paul is saying, be imitators of God as dear children. How do we become imitators of God? Walking in love. So he says, walk in love as Christ also has loved us. With the same kind of love, you walk in love. You conduct yourselves. You live your life in love. The same way Christ also has loved us. So, which means to walk in love, to um, wholeheartedly, sacrificially, the way Christ loved us. To walk in love means to also uh, to love God. The first aspect of it is to love God. To love God wholeheartedly with our heart, soul, mind, strength, wholeheartedly. And to walk in love also means to love God's people with the same kind of love that God gives us. To walk in love means to love God and it also means to love God's people. Right? So walking in love, when you look at the, the verses following verse 3, Ephesians 5, it talks about certain things that we are to distance ourselves from, not to indulge in. Right? Even as we wholeheartedly love God and love God's people, and he talks, it says that let it not even be named, meaning let it not be uttered, mentioned, professed, or let it not even be considered as an option to indulge in. Okay. So what are these things? Let it not be named among you. It's talking about fornication, talking, which is a, a sexual relationship before marriage, talking about uncleanness, which is a broad category, all that the Lord would consider to be unholy or unclean. Um, talking about, uh, it's mentioning covetousness, which is um, greed or wanting something or laying hold of something um, that is not rightfully ours. Covetousness talks about filthiness, foolish talking and coarse jesting. It says here, to walk in love means to be an imitate, imitator of God. To be an imitator of God means to cut out these things out of our lives. It says, not even consider. Do not mention it. Do not utter it. Don't even consider it to indulge in it. Right? So, the call to walk in love as Christ loved us. Today, may we put that in practice. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you called us to walk in love. Lord, we pray that you will give us a revelation of all that it means, O oh God, to walk in love. To walk in love towards you and to walk in love towards God's people, your people, God. And Lord, we, we thank you for this exhortation of what we should not even consider as we walk in love. We pray, Lord, that you would empower us to do so today, to walk in love today. We give you all thanks and all praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.